Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to show you how to do four, three, and two-point edits in Kohler Classical. Four-point edits and three-point edits are sort of the heart of source destination editing. As you can see, you've got 10 tr track groups here. Each track group has about 45 tracks in it. If I pop one of those open, you can see that. But they appear as single tracks, because that's all you need to see. So you can see here, we have the same piece of music here in the destination. And then I've got various takes of that. That's take eight that's in the destination. But here I've got take, take 19. Here's take 27. Here's take 11. Here's take five, etc. So we have many choices. So what we want to be able to do quickly is to select one of the choices and paste it up into the destination. And that's called a four point edit. So let's say, for example, I wanted to paste just this section from here over to here. OK, so I could in, in, in actuality, I would listen to this carefully to position the points, but let's just do it visually for now. And let's say I want to grab that from the purple track. So that's going to be from there to there, as we can see in the waveform. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this piece of audio, I'll highlight it so you can see it, up into the destination track right there between that in and out point. It's all one command to do it. Very simple command. Once I've set those markers, I go to edit, source destination, edit crossfade. That's your main command for source destination editing. I click that command, and the edit is done. You'll see now take 11 is here, which was the take on a source 4, take 11. And this portion of take 11 has now been inserted up in here in the destination. And the in and out points are set at the beginning and end of that. Everything is automatically rippled and the crossfades are in place. And you can now go into the crossfades and edit those two fades. Okay? So that's all there is to source destination editing in Kohler Classical, basically, for the four point edit. I'm going to undo that edit now for a moment. Let's go back to before where we did the source destination edit, which was here. So I'll go to here undo. Okay, so now we're back to where we started. Um, now, a three-point edit would be if we wanted to insert some material. Occasionally, you want to do this. Often, we want to do it at the end of a track, so I'll show you that as well, but we can do it in the middle of a track. So if instead of doing the four-point edit, we first did a two-point edit to delete some music, and then we wanted to insert it, we could do that. So for example, let's say we, for some reason, we want to delete this section first in the destination. Okay, we can delete it without crossfade because we're going to use it for an insert. Uh, you could do the crossfade too if you want, it doesn't matter. But So we'll do the command which says delete, ripple, but no crossfade. Okay, so this command here. So that will remove that little piece. Okay, and it didn't do a crossfade, it just ripped and it rippled everything over. And now we can do a three point edit and insert this material into there with a three point edit. So, with a three point edit, we make sure that the out marker is not set. So, I delete the out marker. And in fact, you can delete the in marker too and just use the cursor. You can use the cursor or the in point. So, now the cursor is sitting right there where we want to do the insert. And we have, this, we have the source in and out point set. So it's going to take this material from here, and then it's going to insert it where, where, where we put the cursor. And I'm going to put the cursor right on that. And it's going to then ripple everything out and then do the crossfades. So again, we do the command, edit, source destination, edit crossfade. So this same command does a four point edit or it does a three point edit. It just depends on what markers you have set. So I do the command and there it is again. So it's, it's inserted, it rippled everything to the right and it, um, that's take 11 from down here and it put the crossfades in. So that's a three point edit. Okay. Now let's um, back up again to before I did the delete and ripple. Okay. And let's go to the end of the track. 
and I'll show you a three-point edit. Let's say you want to add something onto the end of a track. I don't know. Let's let's just grab something here, and let's say I wanted to add this piece of audio from there to there, right at the very end of the track. I just put my cursor at the end of the track, and again, make sure there's no in point or out point set in the destination when you do this. So you do the command, which is delete in out. I'll show you that command. If you go to markers, delete in out. It's command backslash. Okay, that makes sure your in and out markers are not set in the destination. And now I just do a three point edit. So it's going to take this material from source three. It's going to tag it on to wherever I put the cursor. In this case, I'm going to put the cursor right at the end. It'll tag it right at the end of the list and it'll put a crossfade there. So the same command again. Edit source destination crossfade. I'll do it with a keystroke this time so you can see it's option command F1. Here we go. There it is. So now you see it took this piece of audio, tagged it on the end, and it added a crossfade in there. If we zoom in, you can see the crossfade. Okay? So that's a three point edit. Now, a two point edit means you're simply deleting some audio and rippling what's around it. So that's very simple. You simply set an in and an out point and it deletes everything between the in and the out point. Kohler Classical, of course, has some special capabilities that no other software packages have in this regard, which I'll show you here. And let's, let's find some good edits. Here's one. So here we see take 18 followed by take 28 followed by take 21. Let's say we just wanted to delete take 28. So what we could do is You'd set an in point, set an out point, and now we're ready to delete. However, if you do this in any other software package and your in and out point are in the middle of those fades, it will cause a triple overlap and often an error or a crash that you then have to fix. In Kohler Classical, that doesn't happen. It just works properly. So we're going to do it with these points in the middle of these fades. We're going to delete take 28. So right now we have 18, 28, 21. When it's done, we'll just have 18 going into 21. All right. So that's two point edit. We just do edit, delete, ripple, and fade. Okay. So I do delete, ripple, and crossfade. There it's done. So you see 18 and 21. And it left the exact fade that was there. Since we did the edit from inside of a fade, it left the fade exactly the way it was. I'll undo that and show that to you again. So there's take 28 in the middle. In fact, I'll widen this fade out so you can see that. So if this fade was like that, and now I'm going to do that same command, edit, delete, ripple, and crossfade, which is command backspace. Deletes the audio, moves it all over, and leaves this crossfade exactly as it was. That's a feature that's unique to Kohler Classical. None of the other software packages, including Pyramix, etc., will do this. Um, again, I'll undo it. And it leaves the crossfade exactly as it was, no matter what it was, lengthwise and shapewise. Let's say I let's say this was linear coming in and cosine going out, and I do the deletion. You see it doesn't affect the fade at all. In fact, that capability is true even if you're doing a four-point source destination edit. So let's say I let's say I've got two very strange crossfades here. Uh, this let me widen this out just so we can see it more easily. Okay. And let's say this one will make it this shape uh, and change this one or change let's change the left side to linear. Okay. So you got two very different shape fades on each end. And let's say I want to replace that with this piece of audio here. So I've selected my, my source audio right there. And I'm going to put that into the destination right there, right in the middle of those fades the way they are. OK. So here we go. There it did it. You can see that's take 23 in there now, which is from the green track but it didn't change the shape of the two fades. So this is a very important capability because normally if you have those fades in there, you probably want to keep the fades the same as they were because the audio on the two ends is the same. 
And then, of course, you can adjust them afterwards any, as needed. So there you have it. You see two point, three point, and four point editing, source destination. You can do it with and without crossfades, and it's all instantaneous, and you can undo all of it with a single click. In Kohler Classical, everything you need to do is just one click away.